Hi friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like your video. Thank you all. At most big, full-line automakers, say GM, BW, or Toyota, it's easy for the luxury brands to stand out from their mainstream counterparts. The Lux variants usually have more power, more advanced technology, and more upscale interiors. Here, Hyundai Motor Group doesn't grant its luxury arm, Genesis, that grace. The undeniable strength of the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, the former a design benchmark and the latter a performance standout, have given the related 2023 Genesis GV60 no quarter. On paper, the GV60 seems well suited to go up against its siblings. It rides on the same electric global modular platform as the EV6 and Ioniq 5, though it sports the shortest wheelbase of the trio, features a 77.4 kWh battery pack good for up to 248 miles of range, and in top trim GV60 performance guys sports a combined 429 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque, more than any Ioniq 5 or EV6, save for the EV6 GT. It even charges quickly, going from 10 to 80% in as little as 18 minutes, thanks to its 235 kilowatt peak charge rate. But Hyundai and Kia offer the same 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack and can clear 266 miles and 274 miles when equipped with dual motors. They also match the GV60's charge times and the advanced version's power output, plus they're cheaper. The Ioniq 5 costs $56,295 when comparably equipped to the $59,985 base GV60, and the equivalent EV6 is $57,965. The other two are more widely available, as well, the Genesis is currently sold in just 8 states. If the GV60 had any hopes to advance, it was via performance and styling. Regarding the former, the Genesis has the softest ride of its compatriots, on highway surfaces and city streets, that's a boon. On the highway, the GV60 drove the best, guest judge Gordon Dickey said. It readily absorbed expansion joints with little to no head toss or tire slap. Some judges even thought the GV60 did a decent hot hatch impression when driven hard, though others lamented poor body control for a luxury SUV equipped with adaptive dampers. The GV60 was initially successful on the design front. Credit must be given to the Genesis designers, associate editor Alex Lenz said. Details like the glove box drawer, mirror adjustment pod and matching diffuser, and shift dial all function exactly as well as they should while adding style and distinction. Editorial director Ed Lowe agreed, Hyundai Motor Group's design team is clearly having the most fun in the automotive industry. I love the drama, beauty, and elegance of the GV60's interior. I like the show of the shifter, the way it rotates to go from a crystal to a beautiful dial, and the awesome blue leather with the contrast lime green stitching and piping. But start poking around, and, well, other Genesis models like the 2022 SUV of the year winning GV70 wouldn't be caught dead with Hyundai or Kia switchgear, yet it's prevalent in the GV60's cabin. And although the orb shifter and other baubles distract the eye, some of the silver and gray plastic buttons look and feel cheap. Ultimately, as strong as the Genesis GV60 is, its siblings are simply stronger. The GV60 is an appealing electric luxury SUV, but you give up little to nothing by opting for the Kia or Hyundai.